Welcome to Pillars of the Earth, uh, a game from Steam, and it's Ryan, as always, and uh, yeah, this was pretty interesting. So this is a adaptation of a book by Ken Follett in, I think it's like the late 80s, early 90s, so this is going to follow the construction of a cathedral, I believe, uh, set in a fictional town slash village in the UK which is quite interesting so we're gonna see uh, see what all kinds of stuff happens uh, as you can see like it's set into different books and um, with the construction of the actual cathedral itself um, it reminds me a lot of like the old uh, the original broken sword games Excuse me. Um, so yes, let's just, just jump straight in. Let's play the tutorial. Yeah, let's play the tutorial. Why not? Left click where you want to go. Ooh, I like it. it. Looks pretty sweet. Move the cursor around the room. When you see this, right click on an object. Masterfully crafted. Sally knows what she's doing. Strange when your children surpass you. Mm. To see all the objects and characters and exits you can interact with, click and hold the wheel mouse or press the space bar. Uh, move your cursor around when you see it changes, interact. So interact with the tools. Oh god, I want to take the tools. Your infantry is displayed at the bottom of the screen. You can click to equip the tools. On oh, the gargoyle. Just not clicking point. Ah, it's, it's got little bits, bits and bobs to make it interactive, which is nice. I'm liking the artwork, it's got some nice comic book sort of feel to it. So let's go and talk to Sally. On the left click, choose your answer. Later in the game, you can also skip lines of dialogue by left by clicking. Wave to your door's attention, cough to get. Wave. If you want to say silent, wait for the timer to run out. So to come, I don't know why. Cursor changes to arrow. Check to explore another area. Double click on exit to speed things up. An assumption so far would be that there's no dialogue. Shirling, England. 11.35. Ooh, that's nice. That's definitely not Christmas time in England, I can tell you that now. It might have been back then though, but who knows. It's a fictional place, fucking suspense, you know, suspense your disbelief for a moment. Ah, this should do. How do you feel? Oh. Can't complain. After all, there's a cozy tree in my back. I promise, this will be the last fire. After tonight, it won't be trees anymore, but walls and a roof. In Shiring, I will find a job. What if the bishop wants to hire you for life? To keep his palace in shape, but maybe strengthen the town's defenses? 
plain things, Tom Builder. Just walls and roofs. There. Took me a lifetime to find some dry ones in this wet. Why didn't we just use your staff? The old thing would have done nicely. Because that thing is precious. It's not made to burn. And we might be able to sell it. Right, now let's see if this does the trick. Oh, so that's where we're at. I'm quite happy that it's got dialogue, so it doesn't mean I have to read everything all the time. So you can enjoy it just as I do. Uh, this is my first time on a playthrough. Hurry up, I'm freezing! So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Martha, you want to cut up some turnips? We'll be making soup. Mm, if it helps. Alfred, you go and look for water. We could just eat snow. No, it'll be proper water for my family. You sit, I'll take care of it. You still haven't answered my question, Tom Builder. What if the bishop offered you a job like they did in Exeter? Something that is beneath your craft, but pays for a lifetime. Easy work. Well... Building something is never easy. You know what I mean. After Exeter, you said I could create something that matters, something that stands for eternity, or I could die setting up houses and sheds. But what if houses and sheds would feed your family? Would you stay this time, or would you keep on looking? I'd be glad to stay. Would you now? Just promise me you'll think about it. Yes, Tom Builder. I need to find some proper water. You collected a clue. Clues work like items. Use them on characters to talk about them. Use them on, a, use them on objects to ponder on the clue. And the objects might be connected. To Maybe we can sell the baby. Alfred! I'm joking. Don't listen to me. Can you see the sun yet? No, but Martha... Don't distract me, I'm working. <laughs> ah. oh, stupid snow. Why did it have to come down just now? You should never have left. Well, we're here now. Guess there's no use complaining. Get over your shit, man. To the forest. Deep in the forest. Too hard for my fist, but my pot should break it. <laughs> I can't carry it in my hands. You'd rather deserve that than that. Just more woods down that way. Thorny bushes. Nah, no getting through there. Looks like it's the pond, the frozen puddle, even. Beautiful.
houses and sheds. Walls and roofs. I'd be glad. I should be glad. Cheer up, Tom. Tom, what's keeping you? And um, did you think about what I asked you? Dreaming of building a cathedral was foolish. When we get to Shiring, I'll take the job. Why is a cathedral so special? Well, you've seen a few. You should know. Yes, but there are so many already. Why do you have to build another one? Is it because God needs more houses? <laughs> May I? If you must. Well. Actually, a cathedral isn't so different from any other house. It always starts simple, with some walls. And on top of that, you put a roof. Very good. A roof to keep off the rain, and walls to keep up the roof. Together that makes one big, long, but dark room. Like a cave. <laughs> Of course, you may want some light coming in. Windows. Right. So the people inside can see what they're doing. Um, I think you forgot something. People can't get in if there are only walls. So, what do you suggest? Doors, of course. Right. And not only doors, but a big and impressive one to let in as many people as possible. By now, we've carved quite a few holes in our cathedral. Unfortunately, not every building can carry a roof like that and have so many windows. So what do we do? Good and solid work. That's what we do. If we don't want our cave to collapse, we have to make everything perfect. Not only strong, but consistent and perfectly even. The walls, the roof, the windows, everything. Perfectly proportioned. You shouldn't say big words like proportioned when talking to a child. What does it mean? It means beauty. Well, it means not only will it keep them dry. It will give them hope. The baby is coming. But it's not due. Have your waters broken you? Soon after we started walking this morning. You should have told me. I don't believe I can bring it into the world. Well, look at all the blood. <laughs> oh, your 
hands are cold. I, I, I could warm them for you. No. Stay here. Please. Right, what can I do to help? Cover me. W will she die? She'll die, right? <laughs> Mama. Children? Alfred. Get more water. Take snow if you must and make it warm. Right. What can I do? Collect some reeds and make me two lengths of string, each big enough for a necklace. What for? You'll see. Chop chop, Martha. Chop chop. Let me cover you. Remember when Martha was born? And the Lady Isabella acted as midwife. You were building a chapel. And you asked her to send her maid to fetch the midwife from the village. Yeah, and she said, that drunken old witch will let her deliver a literal wolf young pups. And she took us to her own chamber. And poor Lord Robert could not go to bed until Martha was born. The water's warm now. Put it next to me. Say for a year as bad as this one, I've managed quite well. You lost your work. And then Martha almost got killed by that pig thief. You call that well? Uh, we're going through hell. I know. But we're still here for each other, aren't we? Holding together as a family. Us builders aren't carved out of measly wood. Never were. You expect a lump of granite to come falling from my legs? I wouldn't be surprised. What else can I do? Just stay with me. It's coming! Help me, Tom! It's coming! I can see it! It looks horrible. He's perfect. A perfect boy. You're still bleeding. It's all right. It will stop soon. Tom. Yes? Thank you for being my midwife. Do you remember the night I came to you? In your lodge? When you were working on my father's church? Of course. How could I ever forget? I never regretted giving myself to you. Never. For one moment. Every time I think of that night, I feel so glad. Me too. I hope you build your cathedral. I thought you were against it. I was. But I was wrong. You deserve something beautiful. 
Build a beautiful cathedral for me. Papa, what's wrong with her face? Agnes. Agnes, wake up. intro shit but it looks like it's gonna be good doesn't it it's gonna be all kinds of drama <laughs> Philippe. The year of our Lord, 1135, had come to an end. King Henry of England, son of William the Conqueror, had died. It was a time of poverty and death. In their despair, some had come to believe Christ and all his saints had gone to sleep and that the pillars of the earth themselves had begun to crumble. Is there no one to welcome us? Who goes there? You just crossed the bridge, right? Yeah, mate. It's quite evident. That'll be a farthing for you and a penny for your horse. Monks and villagers don't have to pay a toll. Ah, sorry, I'm not good at this. I told Brother Paul. It's not easy doing the Lord's work when you're hungry. It is not much, but I can share this with you. Will you take care of my horse, brother? I have come to see Prior James. Prior James? 
that's him the bells are tolling for. Leave the horse here. I'll get it down to the priory later. The fish should go nicely with that cheese. What? Why are they ringing the bells? Don't you know? The devil has come to Kingsbridge. The devil has come to Kingsbridge? Go to the monastery. Hello? Go to the village. Hmm. I'm sure there was someone moving behind a window. But most houses are empty. Let's go to the gate. That's how you get into the monastery. attention to care for the Church of God, which he obtained with his own blood. Let's go to the main gate. Huh. Why did they lock it? Maybe the side entrance is open. locked. When he opened the sixth seal, I looked up and behold, there was a great earthquake, and the sun became black as sackcloth. The moon became like blood, and the stars of the sky fell to the earth as the fig tree sheds its winter fruit when shaken by a gale. Thou shalt not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the pestilence that walketh in darkness, the pestilence that rode in on the lightning that struck our cathedral four years ago. Did you not all feel its presence here ever since? James did, and I did as well. But the Lord says, because he hath set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. Our beloved Prior James has served the Lord all his life. He shall be delivered from the darkness, from this dark earth. Prior James? Philip. Francis? For many years, James has been our prior. 
After the upcoming election, I vow to lead Kingsbridge Priory with the same steady hand. Amen. Hmm. Philip, we told your brother you'd come to Kingsbridge New Year's Day. I did not expect to see you here. I was on my way back to Gloucester and wanted to see you. Priest working in the world of politics. You must tell us about it, Francis. Of course. And his brother, a prior of what now? Two years? It's been four years, Cuthbert. <laughs> I see. How are things in St. John in the Forest? Philip? Our little cell is happy and healthy. Happy and healthy. Thanks to your brother, Francis, St. John in the Forest is prospering. His novices are obedient, his monks humble and pious. Well, our own priory is in such a sorry state. You know James did the best he could. It was not his fault. Also, they make a remarkable cheese at St. John's. <laughs> Come by the kitchen later to see us, will you? Brother Cuthbert seemed upset. Well, we all are. The way James died was disturbing. Disturbing? How did Prior James die? Seven days ago, Brother Amicius found James's room empty. We all looked for him for hours. Then we found his footprints by the bridge and a, a hole in the ice. Oh no. No. In the small hours of Christmas Day, he must have walked out on the river. We didn't even find his body. The river took him, and the cold. I will pray for James. See me when you have time, Philip. I will be in the cathedral. Suspicious. And I should go and see how Brother Cuthbert is doing. It's good to see you, Philip. Maybe things will get better after the chapter elects the new prior. Hopefully. I will come by the kitchen later, Milius. At least it wasn't Remedius who punished us. Brother Marcus said he's taking a beating now once a week. I saw him crying yesterday. So, that's we're going to end the episode there. Um, yeah, we're going to find out why... Prior James died. It seems to be he's died in a suspicious way. Um, yeah, this seems to be very heavily narrative-driven. So pretty much like Telltale games and stuff like that. So if you want to carry on watching this series, just hit a like down below. Uh, hit the subscribe button. Do all the YouTube lovely stuff. If you want to hit the little bell next to the subscribe, then you'll get a notification whenever I put up a new video, which should be coming up um, quite steadily now. There should be at least one or two videos a week. And uh, yeah, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself, play more games, peace.